We're combining tacos with fajitas to create the most beautiful dish. They're absolutely delicious and they're so easy to make. To start, I'm doing the prep a little bit backwards for this one. We're going to do the toppings before we do the fillings. And as for that, we're going to need one red onion. Slice across this, just stopping at the root, then slice it horizontally, and then dice this into small to medium sized pieces. We're then going to need some tomatoes. I've got 200 grams of cherry tomatoes here, but you can use one or two regular tomatoes for this. I just wanted to use these up. Just dice them into small to medium sized pieces as well. Pretty much the same size as the onion. To finish the tacos off, I recommend slicing up some fresh lime. I do have three here. You might not need that many. It's completely up to you and how much citrus you like. But I recommend getting eight even wedges out of one individual lime. You can also trim off the pith if you wanted to. It makes it a little bit more presentable and easier to squeeze. To lay all of the ingredients in the tacos, I am using some avocado. I've got two right here, and I'd recommend just slicing around the seed. Remove that seed, then pop it into a bowl. And you don't need to see me do all of them, so I'm just going to show two. Hit it up with some sea salt flakes. This obviously seasons as well, but the salt acts as an abrasive to help break down the avocado a little bit easier. Just mash this up until it's nice and smooth. You can leave it a little bit rustic if you want. And then I recommend checking it for seasoning again, adjusting if necessary. And I'm also adding in a little bit of lime from the limes we sliced up before, just for that nice acidic pop. Now for the fajitas, I've got one brown or yellow onion. Slice off both sides, slice it in half, and then slice it into nice thin strips the whole way across. We're going to need two cloves of garlic. Just run these along a microplane to create a paste to make sure you scrape it all out of there to avoid any waste. And then last, we're going to need two chicken breasts. You can use thigh if you want, but chicken breast is better for this recipe. Just butterfly this by slicing it horizontally to follow that cut all the way through to open it up. And then we can slice this into thin, even sized strips, making sure they're the same size the whole way, that way they cook at the same rate. And if they're a bit long, you can slice them in half as well. Now to make the taco seasoning, we're going to need four grams of both onion and garlic powder, four grams of both paprika and ground cumin, two grams of dried oregano and half a gram of chili powder, a nice big pinch of salt, and then just mix this around with a spoon until combined and then we can pop this aside for a second because we're going to add onion into a bowl, then add in one tablespoon of that taco seasoning and just gently massage this with your hands, breaking up the onion in the process. We're also going to add the sliced chicken to a separate bowl, add in all of the remaining taco seasoning, as well as about two teaspoons of olive oil, and then again, massage this with your hands until everything is evenly combined. Now with all the prep out of the way, add one tablespoon of olive oil to a pan over medium high heat, add in all of those onions, and then we're going to fry these off for about four minutes, just moving the pan around regularly so nothing burns. And we don't want to cook these for too long, that way the onions still have a beautiful texture on them, and those spices have that fantastic flavor. Next to go in is the garlic. Just break this up, make sure everything's evenly combined and nothing's clumping anywhere. And we're going to cook this for one minute, keeping it moving the whole time. Then we can remove it from the stovetop and just pour the onions and garlic into a bowl, placing that same pan back over a medium high heat. Add in one tablespoon of olive oil and then we're going to add in the chicken. If your pan's not big enough, I do recommend doing this in batches. Let it sit for about a minute just so we can get that beautiful sear on it. Then just mix this around, keeping the pan moving so nothing burns. And we're going to cook this for about five minutes just until the chicken's all the way cooked through. We don't want to overcook this because it will become dry. And once you're happy with it, we can add the onions in. We're only going to cook this for about 30 seconds just to make sure everything's hot. Again, you can practice that flick of the wrist if you wanted to. But once you have something that looks like this, it's a beautiful color, has a fantastic sear on it, we can remove it from the stovetop. Now the last thing to do is get our tortillas ready. I'm using flour tortillas. You can use corn if you wanted to. I'm toasting them in a dry pan over a medium heat for about a minute on each side until they're nice and golden. You can do it in a microwave, in the oven, or even a toaster if you wanted to. But once that's done, we can then lay down our avocado as the base, put over that beautiful chicken fajita mix. Top them with the fresh, beautiful, vibrant tomatoes, as well as all of those delicious onions. And again, you can do anything you want here. You can change this up. And last but not least, top it with some fresh coriander or cilantro, which then leaves us with these beautiful fajita tacos that look and smell delicious. And if you place them all on a platter, they look even better. I recommend about four to five per serving and make sure you serve them with that beautiful citrus. Now with our beautiful platter, we can use our lime wedges and just squirt that over the top for a little bit of fresh citrus. And then, once I finally get a grip of it, the only thing that is left to do is we can then dig it. From something that takes 25 minutes start to finish, you really can't go wrong with this recipe. It's cheap, it's easy, it's easily accessible as well. You can use pretty much any ingredient you like. Use up some stuff in your fridge. That's pretty much what I did with this one. Tortillas, absolutely delicious. The avocado, the perfect cooked chicken. Then we've got the tomato and that fresh onion and coriander. Finish with the lime juice for that citrus pulp. You can't go wrong at all. 
you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, helps me out, helps the channel be seen by more people, and consider subscribing along with hitting the bell notification next to it so you never miss when I upload, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.